Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Wow, look at these endings here. Okay, your person, ooh, okay. Something has happened here. I'm hearing argument. Your person has had some kind of an ending, whether it's with um, what, whoever it's with. It could be um, a third party. It could be a family member, a friend, um, a work argument, but they've, they've had some kind of ending. I think it took them by surprise. It was very painful. Now, emotionally, they're wrapping the situation up, whatever it is. Um, it could even be their own thoughts with swords. Something has changed. Something has ended abruptly and it's caused some shock, some pain here. But the thing that needs to change, the, the next thing that will change is the action. So ones are about um, actions here, movement. So as an example, let's say I'm living with someone and we have an argument and I decide that's it, I'm done, I'm moving out. The argument comes first, then I move out. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, if it's your person's thoughts, if it's not sort of a third party thing, and I'm not really seeing that yet, um, it would be something like, wow, I've realized that, I don't know, drinking a bottle of whiskey in place of dinner every night is ruining my health. I should stop that. Um, you know, then the action, then I stop doing that. That comes next. Okay. Whatever this is, it's obviously um, significant to your connection. So we'll go back after we've pulled three more cards and see what this is and see why your person wants for you to know this today. Your person, I'm hearing, owes you a message. They feel like they owe, they owe you some kind of a response or communication. And they feel that until they give you this, something can't be completed a new beginning can't happen do you see how this is the new beginning they want but this needs to end first they're overthinking they are really really thinking about you and about this message but so much so you know their mind is tired they actually need a rest they need to take a break from thinking about this wow okay they see you as a soulmate they see you as their other half here so they need to do something as far as they're concerned to fix this connection but they're delaying, they're hesitating. So let's go in and let's get some more detail. This is separate, I feel, to the fact that they want to send this message, they know they need to send this message, but they haven't sent it yet. The Page of Cups is a messenger, so it's normally a message, you know, a, a text message, an instant message, an email, something like that, but it could, you know, it could be something they want to say to you in person, but it's something small, at least it's small to start with. Okay, tell me about this Ten of Swords. What was this? What's this emotional ending that's happened, this painful ending? the five of cups in reverse so yeah okay this isn't about any third party person energy or situation this is about the shocking realization they've had you know that, that maybe they've done something to mess this up um even if they're not saying it was 100 percent on them they're at least saying you know 50 percent of it at least maybe more they did something here to either miss an opportunity or to to bring your connection down you know to, to lower vibrations to put it into its shadow side and they're, they're thinking i want to bring it back out of the shadow you know i want to get away from devil energy back to the lover's energy you know i want you know how can i do that something has to end first that's how so your person's really feeling pain and what I'm getting is this isn't necessarily something that happened yesterday or last week even. This ending or this I'm hearing sabotage, self-sabotage, it might have happened months ago, maybe even 10 months ago, um, but it, it, for some reason it's fresh now for your person, they, it's really hit them only now what's happened, you know, that they've either messed this up or they think they've lost you they're really in pain now it's a very delayed reaction okay tell me about this ten of wands what is this behavior i feel it's really a behavior an action that needs to change what is this <laughs> well lack of action the knight of pentacles in the reverse you know taking so long inactivity um indecision sometimes a decision 
is made for you. You know, when you, when you think, I don't know what decision to make, I won't make a decision. That's your decision to delay. This is a behavior that needs to end. Keeping this connection stuck. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting a, um, a clairvoyant image of the Wheel of Fortune. So both of you have felt, possibly at slightly different times in this connection, that it was very divine, it was being divinely led, guided forward, it felt like forward momentum should be happening, but your person kept this stuck deliberately. Now, depending on your situation, this could be because of fear. You know, how will this connection look moving forward? Are they going to lose? The connection they already have with you maybe you find out something about them that you don't like you know all of these insecurities it could be because there was a third party whether that's a person a job a location you know lots of, of distance between you both um but either way your person has been deliberately keeping things stuck and they're saying wow like you know <laughs> like their mind is blown because they've only just fully realized how much of a role this stagnant energy has played in this ending and you know you might be saying how come you know obviously why does it take them so long but there's a difference isn't there you can know something or you can hear something but do you really understand it you know when you're having a conversation someone's saying something you're hearing it but so many times the way you're hearing things interpreting things is not what the person means you know so for some reason it's like your person's just woken up Tell me about this message, please. What is this communication that's, that they need to send or give? What's this, what's this message about? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The King of Wands, the Six of Cups. Okay, something to do with their past. There's an attachment here. Um, it could be an attachment to a wound that was picked up in childhood. It could be an attachment to that third party energy with the nine of pentacles in reverse that's a card of not being available not being single so yes they could be quite literally unavailable they're with someone else or they could be emotionally unavailable unavailable to offer commitment because of a fear of you know changing their life compromising you know maybe in the past they've committed to people who've then become very dependent on them and that's something they're scared of but your person i'm seeing with the king of wands in the middle middle of this spread uses passion um you know a kind of dynamic energy sexual energy to cover up you know these insecurities or this inability to take that next step towards commitment and they know they're at a point now where it's necessary to tell you this or to explain this or to, to give you some more insight into how their mind is working or what it is that's made them want to keep things stuck this is a big thing to them, the world. This is about something to do with a life lesson here. Um, when the world shows up, it's that one last step, that last push, that burst of courage to break through, to begin again as the fall. So once your person manages to actually have this conversation with you, this communication, their life will begin anew. You know, it's a whole new phase for them. So this is this is a big... This is big energy, it's a big deal for them. Wrapping up years of repeated cycles, patterns, behaviors, thought patterns, processes. So I can see why they're, you know, why they're quite confused over here. Okay, tell us what all this thinking's about. What are they thinking, please? Oh, the Seven of Swords in reverse, yeah. So needing to be authentic, needing to show you what has been going on down in that shadow side. And we know what that is. It's fear, realizing that something's going to have to be released. Something needs to be changed. And they're, you know, they're saying the mask has finally dropped. Not only their mask with you, but whatever this. Um, I'm hearing like a cloud or a haze. Whatever was in front of them, preventing them from really seeing the role they played in this painful ending here. That's gone. They now see clearly. You know, here you are, the Queen of Wands in reverse. So this is the energy they're seeing you in. Someone who is um, very attractive because of, you know, your physical appearance, um, but also the, the energy of you. You know, you might be very warm, very confident, very open. People just really love to be around you. Maybe people are drawn to you. Someone who's very successful. But you, you do have that kind of softer side that's very intuitive as well. Um, and with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, perhaps you were putting in a lot of effort before and you stopped and that's helped them 
to, to take a step back, to gain a clearer perspective here. And this was part of what's been going on, especially if you're in separation, if you haven't heard from your person as well, and it's been months, and you're thinking, what, you know, what's been going on with them? It's been a fairly slow process, you know. First they had to think, they had to notice you stopped chasing them or stopped putting in a lot of effort. Then they had to think about why. Then they had to think about their role in this, and now they've come to this revelation here. We don't have the tower, or at least we don't have it yet, but that's the energy I'm feeling. It's like this this clarity just hit them out of nowhere. Okay, so tell me about this Ace of Wands. What does this look like? I'm hearing the future. So what sort of future does, do these divine masculines and soulmates imagine or envision with my subscribers? What do they want for this, this new opportunity? How do they want to see this future unfold? Wow, the Queen of Pentacles. So this is commitment. This is making you a spouse, a wife, a husband. Um, I'm not even going to clarify beyond this because, you know, you know how big this is. Look at this. They, they want commitment with you, with their soulmate. And I'm telling you, this is, this is linked to this massive revelation they've had of, oh shit, I cannot believe I fucked this up with this person I want to be with for the rest of my life. I can't believe it took me this long to see it. And now I know what I have to do and I'm really scared of doing it. I know how I have to present myself. And this terrifies me. I have to be authentic. I have to be some kind of vulnerable here, you know, however it looks for them. Whew, big message. Okay, that's, that's pretty exciting though. Okay, so let's do the, the winner. So the question, the one question, one card reading. So I'll put the footage here and then we'll go to, um, to the, the reading after. Okay, so Renee, Kelly, thank you for your question. Congrats. So let's see, is your twin flame finally going to stop ghosting you uh, and stay and stick around? So Spirit, can you please show us, is Renee's twin flame finally going to stop ghosting her and actually stick around? Okay, can you give us one card please? Is Renee's twin flame... Okay, we have the world in the reverse. So what I'm seeing here is eventually, yes, but maybe not right now. You know, the world in reverse. You know, we saw this in, in the main reading as well. So it's a cycle when it's repeating, it's going around and around, um, and it's linked to something much bigger, much deeper. So on the surface, it's just, you can't maybe see a reason for it. It's infuriating and you're thinking, you know, for heaven's sake, what's the problem? Just speak to me. Or why do you keep ghosting me? It's linked to something much deeper, whether it's a life lesson um, that your twin is learning and wanted to, to experience before incarnating. Um, it might be a wound. It could even be past life karma. So eventually, yes. But for now, unfortunately, it looks like your twin is, is still on this cycle. So um, Please just don't take it personally. The world is major arcana, so this is bigger than you. It's, it's probably bigger than your twin in a 3D sense. So just remember, it's not personal. Okay, awesome. So thank you everyone for watching. If you would like to enter your question, please just leave it in the comments below and I'll do another reading, another one card reading um, on Friday. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is in the description box, but I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and speak soon. Bye.